Hello Mina, hello Jack. Today's book on Storytime for Grandad is The Two Silly Witches. A family of witches once lived in a cottage at the bottom of a hill. The chief witch was old and grumpy. The other two were young and silly. They forgot to say their spells and they did not even wear black cloaks. One day they were even more silly than usual. They dropped the cauldron and broke it into two big pieces. The old witch was very angry. She set off at once on her broomstick to buy another cauldron. When she had gone, the two young witches wondered what to do all day. Let's make it rain, one of them said. That will stop everyone having fun. They ran to the shelf where the chief witch kept her book of spells. This one looks easy, one witch said. Spell 21, how to make it rain. Spell 21, how to make rain. Tie nine knots in a piece of magic string. Undo them one by one. Each knot will make a different sort of rain. One, drizzle. Two, light rain. Three, rain. Four, heavy rain. Five, frogs and fishes. Six, cats and dogs. Seven, buckets. Eight, downpour. Nine, cloudburst. Danger, do not use knot nine unless you know a good spell to stop a cloudburst. But they did not notice the warning at the end of the spell. They rushed off to look into the cupboard for a piece of magic string. They tied nine knots in the string, then one of the witches quickly untied the first knot. The other one ran outside to see what was happening. It really works, she said. It's drizzling. Now, let's try some heavy rain, she said. That should be fun. So they untied the fourth knot. The fourth knot worked even better. The rain came pouring down until it made big puddles. How about a cloud burst? said the first witch, and she began to undo the last knot in the string. They went outside to watch. It began to rain so hard, their hats and coats were soon wet through. They ran back to the cottage to find out how to stop the cloud burst. They looked in the book of spells. Then they saw the warning. Oh no, they cried. What should we do? It's going to rain forever. The water rose higher and higher. Soon it was so deep they had to swim. Then the chief witch flew back with the new cauldron. And she was even crosser than before. The cottage was in the middle of a lake. But it was only raining on the witch's cottage. Soon the lake covered the roof and the silly witches were never seen again. The end. Bye-bye, Mila. Bye-bye, Jack. Bye.